I made some mistakes. A few years ago, I installed these five 315 watt solar panels, this 3500 watt inverter, this 40 amp charge controller, and a couple of these uh, 100 amp hour Renogy lithium ion batteries into my RV, and uh, it, it kind of worked. I mean, it would run most of the stuff overnight, but of course I couldn't, you know, run my air conditioning or a microwave. A heater wouldn't wouldn't last very long. Heaters take a huge draw. And it's it's a pretty mismatched system because I had all this solar panel going to this tiny little charge controller and only 200 amp hours of battery. And about a year ago, it stopped working almost completely. I had to run the generator or be plugged in. And uh, I recently learned that I completely killed this Renogy 100 amp hour battery, probably because because of the crappy wiring job we did. I, I had no idea what I was doing. But Epic just hooked me up with what has to be the greatest RV and marine battery of all time, their 12 volt, 460 amp hour, lithium ion phosphate beast. This video is sponsored by Epic. I updated my charge controller to this 100 amp hour version, had my RV guys fix my wiring fails, and install my new Epic 460. I'm gonna first share with you this battery's uh, Epic feature set. I'm not gonna do a full comparison, but go ahead and check the price of a comparable Renogy or Battleborn battery. Compared to this one at $17.99, the Epic smokes them in both price and features. They can't come close to getting this much juice per dollar or juice per pound. How much power does the Epic 460 have? It's 460 amp hours, 12.8 volts, which is 5,888 watts. That's almost six kilowatts packed into this beautiful little space right here. The Epic can output 300 amps continuously. And for those that don't speak all that technical stuff, that just means it can power a lot of big stuff for a long time. It can also output 500 amps for 30 seconds, which means maybe you can even turn on your air conditioner without a soft start. I, I don't have a soft start on this one, so we'll find out in a second if it works. It has this remote on a 10 foot cable. You see that it's got a green light on right now. You hold it for about five seconds. I'm gonna hold it. One, two, three, four, five and bam, the battery's off when you need to store it. And with a 10-foot cable, you can just put this somewhere you can easily get to it so you don't have to climb in. It also has a button right here on top to do exactly the same thing. It has these handy-dandy carrying straps, which you're gonna need because it does weigh 97 pounds. And if you don't like them or you wanna remove them, they just, just come off like that super easily. Kind of kind of great and useful. It's got mounting points right here on both sides, front and back, if you wanna use these to mount it more securely. In mine, we just used you know a little bit of wood and it, it's, it's not going anywhere. It was designed right here in the good old USA, so it's got a very solid build quality and, you know, it's kind of beautiful for, for a battery. This version of the battery is IP67 rated, which means it's sealed, it's dust and waterproof. It can be submerged in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes, so it is perfect for marine use, and I may or may not have a use for it coming up pretty soon. Did you see that frame of what I might need this for? Just, just rewind and see if you can guess what it is. The 460 has a very robust BMS. BMS stands for Battery Management System. That means you cannot overcharge it, and when it gets down to about 11.5%, it prevents it from discharging anymore, so you're not gonna mess up the battery if you have poor charging habits. This will take care of it for you, but, but do use the right, the right charger. It's even got built-in heating, so if it gets below zero, it'll uh, heat up the battery for you automatically so you can keep charging it with, without any issues. If you went ahead and got a proper Victor system instead of the do-it-yourself way I did it. It does have CAN bus communication, so it will communicate with your Victron stuff. That's uh, these ports right here. It'll do 4,000 to 6,000 charge cycles, and it's warranted for 11 years. Are you going to keep your RV for 11 years? And their customer support is great. If I have a question and they're open, I get a reply back the same day, and if not, it's the next day. So you're, you're going you're gonna to love that. When I first thought about upgrading my battery system a couple years ago because I only had 200 amp hours, I thought I had to install them in the battery compartment. That's separate from the living space, separate from the basement, and it's got you know some ventilation because lead acid batteries off gas and they're not safe to install where there's a living space or even in the basement of your RV. So I thought it was going to be a super huge expensive project, but the beauty of these lithium ion batteries is they're completely sealed. They don't off gas. So you can install them in the basement of your RV. It also comes with this very accurate battery meter. So if you don't have some other meter in there, you can just plug this guy in and put it anywhere. It's got a bunch of cable and it looks kind of like this when it's plugged in and fully charged. Another thing I love about it is this app it comes with. You can see that it can see the Epic battery right here. It's not plugged into anything now, so it's not showing me too much. And it even shows me the other battery right here that I've got over there, that 100 amp hour one I had to get because my, my Renogy broke. I got that 
before I, I knew I was getting this one. You can see it, it's gonna show you volts, amps, charging state, amp hours, and it even tells you the status of each of the individual cells once it's all hooked up inside. Plus it's got a bunch of other cool stuff on this side. The app's kind of fun to play with once it's uh, plugged into the RV. Before I got this Epic battery, I replaced that Renogy battery with another one. So I do have two good 100 amp hour batteries on here, and since you can't mix and match sizes of batteries, what I did was this. I had my RV guys install this switch here. I'm confident I'm never gonna need it, but my 460 amp hour battery is right here and if it ever runs out for whatever reason I just switch it over to here and bam now I've got my two 100 amp hour batteries on the system it switches over everything charging and stuff so uh, that's how I made use of those two extra batteries I have epic is always evolving staying on the cutting edge nothing else comes close if it's time to upgrade your batteries in your RV or if you just want more juice go ahead and check out the link in the description or go to epicbatteries.com and get yourself one of these you will not be disappointed imagine you're boondocking and you need a burrito because it's nine o'clock at night but you don't want to turn on the generator what do you do well you grab your uh, your burrito you check it in here. Let's let's try this out. I've unplugged the 50 amps. I've turned off the shore power, so let's turn on the inverter. We can see that the Renogy battery monitor I already had works with this thing, so that's that's kind of great. The MT50 monitor I installed also seems to work pretty flawlessly with it. Let's see if it works. That's a microwave run off a friggin' battery. Pretty cool. But what about air conditioning? Now let's try the mother of all power draws, uh, an air conditioner. This is like a 15,000 BTU air conditioner, I think. And we're gonna turn it on, let's see if it works. 68 degrees, let's wait. Air conditioning off a battery? Dude, wait, could we possibly run the air conditioning and the microwave? Let, let, let's try that. I'm a little bit afraid. No, no way. Microwave, air conditioning, off a battery. But let's see how long it'll last. I'm gonna turn the AC off. I know it's loud. Just ran the air conditioner, and uh, yeah, it's blown cold. Watch this. Battery's fully charged, has shown us. 12.6 volts, it's drawing 127 amps right now. Uh, that's kind of a lot. At 1.6 kilowatts, and it'll last for three and a half hours. Three and a half hours running that on a battery. What do you, what do you think, wife? Trevor's never been so giddy about a battery. I so wish we had that battery and we were in the heat of the desert at Burning Man. Go ahead and watch that video up there.